Uh, hey, um, I'm James. Hey, I'm Neil. We're from Villainy. Uh, so Villainy's been going for about two and a half years. Um, a couple of us were actually in another band beforehand. Um, and I met the guitar player Thomas, who isn't here today, um, through a classified ad on the internet. <laughs> um, so we, we hooked up that and one. Day. Or? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was looking for a boyfriend at the time. He was having playing guitar, so it was, it was great. Just casual hooker. Just, yeah, just casual. Yeah. Didn't work out at first, so I was like, oh, it's not bad instead. It was great. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but, but yeah, that, that didn't really work, so we changed tact and, um, and turned into villainy and started making a record. And uh, well, Basically, we kind of started the band for purely selfish reasons, like, we all wanted to have an album that we could actually put out. Um, I know a lot of bands would start out by just like playing a lot of shows and gradually work it their way up to maybe recording music and that kind of thing. We thought, well, you know, people these days seem to say it's all about the singles, it's all about EPs, it's all about that kind of thing. But we thought, eh, screw it. We're gonna make an album, make music as good as we can, you know, get this pretty thing that we can give to our grandkids and then just see if people like it. And yeah. Out. We want to we want to set out to make a record. We want to make a good record. And I guess our first hurdle was finding um, a producer that we thought would be worth working with. There's a lot of people here in New Zealand that we could have used, but that would have been used a lot. Or you know, we wanted something fresh, and we needed someone that we thought would really believe in. Um, so we had a friend who mentioned Tom, and at the time we didn't realise he was a producer. Um, you know, we knew who she had was, and I think it's, it's fair to say that we were fans of the band, but um, we didn't know that he was, you know, he had a studio and he'd been doing this stuff for years. So, so we found that out, and I met up with him in Melbourne and, and had a chat to him about what he was doing and how he was working, and he listened to the tracks and sort of gave him some feedback on what he thought. And um, yeah, he seemed to be on the right page and you know, creatively and all the rest of it. He wanted, he, he wanted to make a record that was interesting and diverse, and um, you know, I mean, we're a rock band, but it's not. It's not, it's not 11 tracks of like hard hitting, hard sorry, hard hitting, you know, drums on the guitars and rolls on him. Yeah, um, yeah. so, and, and he was on board with that and, and he's got the experience to to deliver yeah. that and he's had, you know, he's made, I don't know, 10 albums or whatever it is for the year, and then all the other records that he's done. So he's been in a million different studios with a million different people and he knows how to how to execute something well. So if he has an idea, yeah. Yeah, I think I'll, yeah, one of the cool things about Tom is that because he's done a lot of albums with a lot of people overseas and things, he can kind of bring all of their experiences into this album. So we got to have, you know, rather than just like a purely New Zealand approach, we got to get kind of a view of a lot more, um, you know, a lot of different um, markets and that kind of thing, which was, was really interesting just to like see how he worked his way through songs and that kind of stuff. So this is the record. Um, the, the album art was done by a guy called Storm Thorgerson who um, is probably better known for the stuff they did for Pink Floyd, Muse, um, the Mars Volta. Um, I guess kind of in keeping with everything that we've tried to do, at least at least for me, I sort of had this ethos of we either do it do it right or, or kind of not do it at all. And, um, and, and you know, we were really big fans of what Storm had done and we didn't really know who we wanted, again, we didn't know who we wanted to use in this country. <laughs> um, so we got in touch with him and sent him some music and he came back maybe like a month later and said, sure, um, send me the songs, send me the lyrics. I think um, <clears throat> his, his photographer really liked us, so made him yeah, work, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and and it, was, it was a bit of a process. I think it took about six months to, to actually get this in the end. Um, he sent us like six different concepts, basically just of the, of the cover image. Um, so not, you know, that was one of them, and then there was, there was one of the shark, all these different things. And um, so we, you know, we, we chose the one that we, we thought was the most sort of evocative and most interesting, and then they set about photographing and producing it. We already had a couple of singles out on radio and stuff, and we've got a third one that's just coming out now uh, called Gather Yourselves. We pretty much picked that one because um, it's quite a good progression in like the development of the songs as, as they go through from the first from the first one alligator skin to the answer to gather yourselves. And um yeah, it was just we thought it would be quite a good song to kinda of lead up to the to the album release and that kind of thing. And um yeah when we sent it out we sent a few songs out to different directors for videos and that kind of stuff. And we just really liked um 
met the guy that did this one who really liked his treatment and the way he wanted to do it and all that kind of thing. Um, part of it was probably because when we met him, he kind of, you know, he rocked up to the cafe with like a massive black beard and a leather jacket and all this kind of stuff. We're like, man, you know. And leather jacket was given to him by Hal's Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like, okay, yeah, we definitely have to work with this guy. Yeah. He seems to know what he's talking about. Okay. Yeah. Most people probably think that beards and stuff make people less trustworthy, but no. Nah. <laughs> just, just means they've experienced life and they know what they want. And we don't shave. Yeah. <laughs> don't waste time on that kind of stuff. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's been just like ridiculously good um, at, at managing the whole thing, making it seamless. Like, you know, super, super ambitious too. It was a two day shoot, which I think is kind of like unheard of. At yeah. the moment, given like the budgets and stuff that you have to play with, so there's a full narrative of this guy around following this like hero or like, anti-hero if you like called Fred, and and um and then and then we had a separate shoot where we're we're playing in sort of like a backlit kind of environment, um, but yeah, it's going to be super cinematic and you know just really mm -hmm. amazing to watch. Yeah, I guess the idea was we wanted to make something that was much bigger than what we would normally be able to make with the with the funding that we got from Entry Down Air. So um yeah, you know, much like coming out to start with the album first and you know, rather than playing shows and all that kind of thing, we want everything to kind of stretch and, and I guess that, what it that, that, that's that's kind of the way we've, we've approached everything. Like I mean we we've had funding but the bulk of the record was funded ourselves. Mm -hmm. Um you know we, we could have made the artwork ourselves and was Scribbled an image and going, great, this is, this is awesome, but it's possible to finish it. Yeah, you know, I mean, we, we want to we produce something which is that we're going to be proud of and that I guess kind of stands up to the sorts of, you know, the, the stuff that we bought back when people actually were excited about owning CDs. Um, you know, I remember being 15 and I don't know, buying like the latest Fashion Pumpkins record or whatever, and sitting there and going through the liner notes and lots of stuff and watching their videos and all this, you know. Those things, and that's I guess that's kind of our ethos. Is we want to, you know, as as best we can produce like a really awesome, you know, product. Yeah, 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 you know, and of course the music has to be good, but it's great to give people something to accompany that they can hold on to as well. Thanks for watching. Um, we're Villainy. This is our record, Monsieur Claire. It's out now.